Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. In this episode, we are making a modification table. So without further ado, let's jump in. Ooh. Uh, I can't can't push you. You're too heavy. Saw you were trying to go back for one of my cameras, huh? That's right, you swim back. Ooh, right there. Ah, uh, it's too far. It's out of range. All right, we got our fish. We got. Let's go, cause we are super hungry. Emergency, starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. Uh, I think we have enough time to drop this in here really quick. So we have our first plant. Oh no, I stuck it in there. I have to like cut it up with a knife and then start planting it. But yeah, we have our first little outdoor plant. You know, it never occurred to me to make a food locker. But then again, leaving the whole locker to water just seems kind of silly, but not really. I say not really because that's what's going to be used to stop, you know, the water in the base as well as the Colossus. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Now we want to go straight for the modification table. I'm just going to dump. Oh, speaking of dump, I have to go back into the storage and get a whole bunch of stuff out. Like that needs to go somewhere else. Because I need to go down deep and... What do I need to go get? I need to go get, you know, some diamond. So we can move on. Let's see, I wanted the shelf above the bed, and I really didn't want any posters there. But this, on the other hand, that... That can go there. It's like, oh man. I hate it when it does that. Like... I just want to rotate it. If I push control... No. Even with control down, it, it's still doing the thing, so. Maybe, it, oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I want. There. Yeah, that looks cool. And then, there's the Aurora poster right there. Yeah, looking pretty cool. Let's see, we're gonna get that stuff out of the storage for the uh, the Aurora. Ah, the sea moth here in a bit. But yeah, just decorating the place so far. Which one was that? Oh, that's the prawn suit above the water. I never do this, like, at all. Huh, I spruce this the place up a bit. But yeah, I gotta get rid of all this stuff, the sea carry, all that. I'm gonna go back up the ladder. <laughs> Cause I have a bench and uh, a duffel bag at the end of the bed. Or maybe I might put it in the little corner there. We have so much trouble rotating this thing. There. And just drop stuff in it. Alright, do we have enough room? No. We should probably eat all this. Vital signs stabilizing. There, now we have a ton of room. These two. I think I'm gonna put on the front. Because that space is taken. This space is going to be taken a little bit, so we can put something on top. I want it to be kind of neutral, though. Yeah, let's put that one up. Can't put anything up in the scanning room, but I think we'll put a poster here. Is that the natural selection one? I think it is. Yeah. 
Hey, that's the coolest one. Stay calm one, though. It's gonna go here temporarily. Okay, let's go get that modification table. Let's see, I'm gonna need you. And then we need a computer chip, diamond. What was it again? It's a computer chip, diamond, lead, and titanium. Okay, so one, two, three. Wait, do we have enough to make a computer chip? It's just gold and what again? Oh, we need copper wire. So we have gold for sure because we have a ton of it. Um, coral samples we do also, but copper, I need to see if I have any copper in this one. Yes, we have enough copper. So technically we have the computer chip. All we need is diamond. I don't have it in there. There's no more diamond in here. And then we can make our ultra, what's that? What do we have? A high capacity, I want to make our ultra high capacity O2 tank. And we'll also see about getting a new suit. Ooh, sorry to bump into you. There, I can never find it, like, and swim up to it on the first try. Welcome aboard, Captain. And we so need a battery charger. Where do I get one? I don't remember. Oh, I remember. So it's going to be in next week's episode where we're going to go all the way to the furthest part of the ocean and go into like this mushroom field and it gets pretty dark there as well. So I think there might be a battery charger for this thing over there. Oh, I just keep going. Can't go too far up. These uh, snake guys like to go a little too high. Oh, it's a spot we haven't been to yet. Oh, battery. Thank you. Oh. Oh, it's that little one. I think the... I'm just looking for shale. I went a little too far out just to look for shale. Oh, we're spotted. Head towards the bottom. Don't look back. Don't get bitten. So either it's after us or it left us alone. We're gonna find out in a moment. Ooh. Oh. Yep. Yep, we need to not go down that far. If I were Shale, where would I be? Oh, there's two of them right over there. Yeek. I think right there. Like for a moment, I thought that was one of the. Oh, we got lithium. Rats. Let's see. Is there any more? Oh, that's. Uh, I'm gonna say magnetite, like it's a Pokemon or something. Seek fluid intake. I think we have a. Yeah, I have two left. Vital signs stabilizing. All right, we're good on that front. I just need shale, that's all. Just some shale. I 
I'm also going to need to pay attention to the layout. I think I'm going to get lost. Ow. Oh, we're at 10. Yeah, we got to leave. Okay, good. We're close. Now, there are two options. We can either... Is this the way out? No. We need to find the vo oh, spot where the volcano stuff's at. Okay, volcanic. And... Yep, here's the way up. Right there. I think at this point, it's time to go further out. And then maybe start getting the, the rare items that we need to start building. It does mean going out further. It does mean going out deeper. So I think we can get away with this by getting that a new battery. Since we have enough of these already. And Welcome aboard, Captain. Venturing out into the unknown. To look at those materials. I want to get ruby, I want to get diamond, and I want to get this stuff called Aerogel. What am I in here for? Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm in there. Need that. Oh, that's what I was in there for. Okay, silicone rubber, which we do have. Right there. See, I love the fact that we can just go to the locker and get it. But the problem is I need to like upkeep it. Alright, we got a new battery. Who's ready to go into the unknown? That battery in the back. Four. There we go. Sweet. That's changed out. Remember, is a bit foggy at this point in the game. Let's see. 100, 100, 0, 0. Get those zeros out of here. Keeping these two just in case. I don't need the fire extinguisher. I need everything else though. Alright. It's still night, so we are gonna pop in the bed. Wake up in the morning and head out. Something just occurred to me. Was there a copy machine in that, uh. Uh, in the living quarters on the Aurora? Because if there was, I think I missed that opportunity to get one. <laughs> or do we already have it? No, it would be in this section. We don't have it. Oh, what do I need to make this? Okay. Wow, that's a lot. But I can still make this. This is much more simpler. So those two we'll make on the way back. Today's goal is this. All right, let's get out there. I believe the way we're gonna take is also the same path to the island, the second island. From our position, unless it's unless it's been changed in the game, it is straight across. I'm sorry, straight across that way. Now, if memory serves me well, we need to go over the most shallow part of this place, and actually it's probably easier if we go this way. So we're kind of heading towards life pod 13, but not really.
Let's see if I can get my bearings for a minute. Okay, so if that's there, Life Pod 17, the wreckage. Yeah, we're going the right way. This is where I get very, very cautious. But we've done this multiple times, so it shouldn't be a problem. It's just that the water gets a little darker. In which I have no idea where we're going. Okay, there. That's where we're going. Oh, we can see down here in the daytime too. I thought it was going to be much, much darker. I think it's beyond this spot is where there's a wreckage just sitting on top. I believe that's it up there. Definitely gonna leave the lights on because probably when we come back outside it'll be it'll be dark. It'll be pitched. Ooh, is that is that what I think it is? No, it's not. Alright, so no, that's cool. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint or terror vehicle signatures. Ooh. So I think we can get in through there, right? Yes. All right, let's go. Our Leviathan friends on the other side. Good, we are prepared and we are ready to go. What is this? Oh, yep, we need that. For the Cyclops, all we need is two more. Let's see, where else? Is that it? Oh, that's what I want. Power, a power cell charger. That is a must. Looks like we came to the right spot. And then after this, we still have to get diamond. Now you're probably wondering, how does this help with the modification table? I'm like, that is a really good point. It's on the way. <laughs> I don't think the Seamoth can go any further down than, well, than 300 meters. I think that's back outside. Please have one. Please have another fragment here. Because I really need that thing. We have half of it. I can just get the other half. We can build it, and I don't want to worry about the sea moths running out of battery power again. All right, nope. I think we're good here. We, fo we found everything that needed to be found. So let's go. All right, that was fun. Still doing pretty good. Let's go down a little further. We are going to try to hit 300, but as soon as that happens, we are coming right back up. Okay, cool. I'm in the right. Oh, that thing. So, that alien creature there likes to teleport, and. Well, you just saw it. Likes to teleport us out of there and kill us. So we need to watch out for that. Okay, that's quartz. Ah! Okay, lights are on. Okay. 
Okay, looks like we are pushing a little bit. We're at 256 meters. So we are going to need that red stuff. Oh. Wow, that thing really wants to mess with me. That thing. Not a big fan of you. So they obviously don't want me over there. I don't know why. But I need to go over there and get that stuff. But what is that over there? Kind of low-key get this over here. Oh, yeah. Definitely want that. Okay, one of three. All right. I need shale, though. I can't leave yet. Dude's just kind of sitting there. Oh, I disappeared. Ah, I flew. flew. I swam too low. Alright, we're pushing it. We might have to go the rest of the way on Sea Glide. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's as far as we can go with this. Oh, I need that. We'll come back for it later because I don't need it at this moment, but I will have to come back for this. So let's go back. We may have to go down to the cave and get the diamond from there again. Man, if I only had a depth module. The modification table will give you lower depths once you modify your uh, your death module. <sighs> I'm just gonna have to wait. Speaking of waiting, where's the base? I think it's that way. There, okay. I was like, where is it? So, pretty good. Got a preview of the scary things that are a little further down into the water. But man. Hopefully we can get that diamond. Get that modification table up and running and do what we need to do. Because I really want that high capacity air tank. The ultra high, I'm sorry, the ultra high. I think once we make it over the shallows, we're just gonna head straight down to that cave and just look for, actually, scratch that. Because it would be a good idea to have the scanner so it can look for shale and then it can pinpoint all the shale and then we can do this in a pinch. But no luck on the aerogel, though. Shame. Almost there. Oh yeah, we're getting pretty close. We're home. Man, I miss my moon pool. Ooh, I need to repair this thing. I'm gonna do that once we uh, 
I'll get back up in the morning. Welcome aboard, Captain. So I ended up seeing this game that I guess has been out for quite a while. It's called uh, Moon Farming. And I guess it puts you on the moon and you're supposed to survive there by building this broken down space station. And they put in like little gags, I guess. One of them was uh, Tesla. And on the car, or truck I should say, it had a the little doge sign. I was kind of surprised at that and snickered, but in one of Rapture's videos, he made a good point about how a lot of the space space games are mainly you surviving on Mars rather than the moon, because the moon really hasn't been explored that much. I think, ah, we've been, we set foot on the moon already, that's it. There's, there's nothing to do there. But maybe there is. Okay, let's go back. Welcome aboard, Captain. Now, if we get the diamond we need, I think that and getting half of the battery charger is going to be the highlight of this episode. What's that? Seamoth? Yeah. Seamoth fragment. Now. It did say that there were vehicles. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to go to the scanner room and <laughs> turn on the, what'd you call it? The filter for, sh um, for shale. Well, I'm super glad it's close. It's just the fact that I have to go back. But where was I getting at with the, uh the episode. But yeah, I'll, cut. I'll consider this a win in the episode if we get the diamond, make the modification table, and wrap up there. Even though we got to see a lot more than what I thought we would. Oh yeah, scanner room. Because it is daytime. Alright. Uh, shale. There we go, shale chunk. Now, one of the cool things about the scanner room is you put this chip inside of your uh, your inventory on your person and you can see where everything is at so it's this chip here the scanner room HUD chip and in a moment we're gonna see where all the shale chunks are at it will take time to look so I'm not expecting anything too fast unless we modded that thing out to scan super fast but it will let us know. Well, I thought I would have at least found something. I guess not. Is that turning? Oh no, it's just moving. I thought it was turning. All right, hey, there we go, right down there. Hey, we got it, let's go. Oh, and there's all the other shale chunks. <laughs> so wait, volcanic, there it is. Hmm, I was gonna mention something about the, the radar in this game. Oh, wait, 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 I think I saw it right there. I have a hard time finding the opening. Ooh, splattered. Whoops. I 
How come the music from the, the deeper part of the ocean is being used? That's weird. Well, I'm being paranoid now, like that thing's right behind me or something. All right, let's get everything built. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying not to freak out, but what do I need? I'm like, I'm so excited that in this episode we get to have this done. There it is. Okay, we got diamond, we need lead, titanium, and a computer ship. Lead. Computer chip, we need a gold, we need a copper, and is it two things a table? Coral, I think. So we need the copper. We need this computer chip. And then I think we should be good. Dude, we got it. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> hey. Ooh. Yes, please. A thermal blade. Okay, four lithium and a high high capacity O2 tank. Done. Let's see. Boom, boom. Oh, wait a minute. I think I need one more. That's not good. Oh, I need one more. <laughs> I need one more. Uh, we have to go back down there. Yeah, we're going to go back down there. Because we were able to modify the knife. And I wanted that O2 tank right before we took off. Oh. Well, there's shale down there, and there's other lithium things, so this should be quite quick. I'm just glad the HUD's working. It's kind of downing it for a minute. Back into the hole we go. School of... Ooh. I didn't think the school would harm us, but it did. Oh, we didn't have to go that far. Gold, are you kidding? Oh, there's one right there. Wow, there are so many here. Lithium, we got it. Did we get it? I saw it fall. Okay, we got what we needed. Let's go back and wrap up the episode. Oh man, hearts racing. Still trying to recover from the last episode. It was just, it was just a little insane the last episode. <laughs> it was so dark <laughs> and that thing was so loud. I guess, well, let me turn the lights off there. Like the first time I played, I freaked out when I heard it, and it just crushed the, whatchamacallit, okay, the, the O2 tank. It just crushed my Seamoth. So helpless. Until I figured out that you needed this specific module that electrifies the Leviathans or any other creatures that come to your Seamoth. I was like, oh, well, I, I would have loved to have that earlier. Cool. So we have our high capacity, our ultra high capacity O2 tank, as well as our thermal knife. One slice of this, and the fish is cooked. Right, everyone. We got our modification table going. We got the place decorated. We got a thermal knife, a ultra high capacity O2 tank. We're gonna wrap up the episode here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Kick that notification bell on the way out, and I will see you in the next episode.